Maria Sacri will make another championship appearance here in Mexico. Last year, she made the championship losing to Pigula. We're going to see if this year is a different story. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Get Energy. I give you the rundown on tennis coverage every day. If you missed this match, it was a short one, a very short one. I mean, look, barely an hour. She handed out a bagel to Carolyn Garcia in the second set. Garcia could never find her rhythm, and Sacri's looking physically strong and mentally even more impressive. She waves to the fans, and we finally figured out the kids that were yelling Maria's name all tournament. What, did they have school during the weekday? What is up with that? It's them. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sacri has a lot of fans here in Mexico, and she said it's her, it's her second home. The ladies hug at the net, but she's going to take on someone who I don't think she's faced anyone similar to Carolyn Dolhide this tournament yet. Uh, Carolyn, on the other of uh, the other hand, Dolhide, she took on a Katarina Alexandrova, who is, I mean, in a lot of ways comparable to what Zachary's going to do. You know, a lot of power on the forehand, base hand, loves to attack the back foot from the baseline. And Carolyn Dolhide has a very nice kick serve. I think she has a good backhand down the line, and she's physically big and strong. She's a lot bigger than Zachary, and she can match Zachary's power. It's going to be a great match. Zachary would say in the post-match interview that she's just thankful for all the fans here that support her. She said she loves playing here. It's definitely her best tournament to play in. She says she didn't want to dwell on the first round exit at the U.S. Open. She said it's behind her, and now she's just happier. And um, it seems to me like she's the happiest she's been in a while, especially on tour. You know, after those heartbreaking losses where she cried in D.C., She's very emotional, but she's a sweet woman. She's made seven semifinals this year, but so has her opponent also made seven semifinals. That's the cheering section there on Wills. Now, Sacri's always had a, a Greek cheering section that's traveled with her. I haven't I haven't seen them in a while. Hey, is she paying fans to cheer her name? <laughs> Just kidding. But listen, guys, it's going to be a good match. If we take a look at some of the stats now, this match here, 72% of her first serves won 61%. I mean, on average, she won about... 66 percent of her serves eight winners 21 unforced errors i mean actually seven unforced errors 21 forced errors so I, I love how they separate that you know some of the other tournaments the 250s and 500s they don't really categorize we want to know what was unforced and what was forced and if we take a look at dolhide she had a great match today she won 72 percent of her points on serve if she does that she'll have a chance to win not as aggressive with the winners as Sacri, uh but i think if she can double that number, she'll have a good chance to win. If I were setting the odds, I would make Zachary probably 2.2 to 1 favorite. Uh, I wouldn't go too insane like a 3 to 1 favorite like she was with Sophia Kennan today. And Sophia Kennan lost outright. It's going to be a good match, guys. Dolehide's made seven semifinals this year. She's made uh, several championship appearances. She's won a couple as well. Zachary has not won a title in four years. Will this be the one? We'll see. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back.